Good morning. I'm just out here admiring my grass. My husband's great job on the grass. Now he's watering. So pretty and green, luscious. Anything that get me a good yard with good grass. <laughs> also want to talk about something you know everybody always talking about that God knows my heart and I believe that to be true just in David's case he did know David's heart contrary to Saul's heart when it was time to switch over leadership it was important that God did know the heart of the man and he was about to put in new leadership versus Saul who took his leadership for granted and started making more about him than the things of God. And we tend to say, God knows my heart. But you know, the funny thing is when Jesus came and died for us on the cross, it was because of the heart of God. He actually acted out what was in his heart by doing such to save us from damnation and ourselves, our sinful fleshful selves. So I'll leave you with this. Since you say God knows your heart, or we've all said it at some point in time, God knows our heart, then make or act on what's in your heart. Show God what's in your heart by loving on Him and loving on others. Being His servant, doing what He requests of us in His commandments every day, every chance we get to be repentive of things that we know are wrong that we do in his sight and in the sight of others if we were to be witnesses to them. So have a great day. I'm going to enjoy my grass. And I leave you with that. Since God knows your heart, then act out what's inside of it. God bless you.